for the take a breath behavior from the controlled unleash protocols by Leslie McDevitt, we're just going to teach your dog how to breathe on cue. This is an easy way to one, capture these natural behaviors that will help slow down their sympathetic nervous system. Here, when working with service dogs, teaching dogs how to naturally de-escalate when an environment is changing and to gain more attention and readiness for performance activities. Uh, in order to introduce this, right, we take a stinky treat. You bring it up and hold it in the air, um, similar to presenting it with the dog, to the dog. Um, and just wait to see what sort of uh, signals um, you notice in your dog that they're sniffing the treat, right? And so these things are very subtle cues, but there's a few different things that you can mark in the moment. And so a lot of times you're gonna start looking for a nostril flare or a little nostril wiggle. Um, another thing you can do is an open mouth, not a panting mouth, right? Um, so sometimes their mouth will just open just a little bit just to filter in the scent, right? And all you're going to do is just pop that treat right in their mouth the moment that you notice these things. Um, and so some ways that you can make this a little bit easier to assess your dog breathing. If your dog is comfortable, you can set it up so that you are for the sensation of a breath something not as strong as panting, but something a little bit more subtle, that's a great cue. Another way is to, if your dog's comfortable with you placing your hand on their side or their chest, this is a great way to help assess if you can feel their chest expanding. Another thing that I uh, came across um, it's very easy for him to get aroused, so he was offering a lot of behaviors. He was showing both avoidance uh, and bouncing towards the treat. And so one thing that I did is I tucked the treat inside my hand, um, and then I presented my hand so that the treat itself wasn't accessible until he took that breath, but he could still see it and sniff it and be enticed to interact in the ways that we wanted him to. Once you find that you go to present your treat and your dog is already sniffing, that's great. That is exactly where we want to be um, when we're getting ready to add that cue. And so what we are going to do uh, is pick a cue that you want. A lot of times I use uh, the handler taking a breath to help cue the dog um, to also take a breath, right? A lot of times in service dogs, right? Um, we may tend to sigh, take a deep breath, and right. so this is a great opportunity to pair and connect your dog taking a breath with you as well. So what I do is give a moment, take a breath, put the treat out, um, and then the moment that you see your dog doing it, go ahead and give them the treat. If you notice that you take a breath and your dog takes a breath, just give them the treat, right? Because that's exactly what the connection that we want to be making. And a lot of times us lowering our stress level um, gives your dog a moment to also lower their own. Other things you can do is you can add a verbal cue like breathe, relax. Um, some visual cues people might do is tap their nose um, or a hand wave or something that is some that is an indicator that you'll uh, tell your dog to slow down, slow themselves down, right? Take a breath, stay with you, and then come back to it. Um, and by adding a cue, all you do is very specific rhythm, but simple rhythm, right? Is you perform your cue, take a breath, present the treat, and wait for that nose wiggle, and go ahead and give them that treat. Take another breath, present the treat, nose wiggle, give them another treat, right? Um, pretty simple, short repetitions. Uh, if you're not using the breath, then you'll do something else. Um, like say breathe, present the treat, give them the treat, that type of argument. Um, the next thing to do, once you feel pretty consistent with that cue and this repetition, is you're going to take the whole thing just to a new environment, right? Um, in performance, that might be a start line. Um, in public access or service dog training, right? That might be practice that the moment that you get ready to step into a new building, step out of the car. I love out of the car tricks for this. Transit, right? Either way, when you're thinking about environmental transitions, this is a great opportunity for everybody to practice this skill.